Hi guys. Happy Thursday. I just saw, oh, I wish that I did scoot in here on my roller skates, Kenzie. What a good idea. <laughs> guys, I'm a roller skater now. Did you, have you heard? I feel like it's dangerous terrain in the studio to rollerblade a little bit, but um, it, it'll happen. Don't worry. I'll just like moonwalk in or something. Um, I said I might have to leave earlier because I have a small headache. Hey, oh God, love to have you as long as you can be. It doesn't, it's okay if you have to go. Don't worry. And you're talking about my nose ring. I've literally had this for years, crazy. As long as you've known me on caffeine, I've had it. <laughs> yeah, probably like nine years I've had this in and haven't changed it, haven't moved it. I've been rebelling this whole time and you didn't even know. Oh, uh, hello, Kiki. Hello, Kenzie. I was just going to call you Mustard Tiger. Who else do we got? Nico, Enots, Nakoda. What else we got? What else we got? That's Miss Mustard Tiger to you. We've got a birthday today. Are you here, birthday girl? She is who suggested we paint a unicorn today. I found this lovely unicorn um, on the right here. It, just kidding. Yeah, what's that for you? Right, left. <laughs> I got nothing. This unicorn that's over here, um, it is by someone on Etsy named Octavia Tattoo. I don't know them personally, but beautiful work. The best unicorn I could find that was the easiest to teach as well. I love Kenzie's attitude. <laughs> oh God, me too, me too. Uh, and Big Pot, you have new paint today, watercolor. Hey, that's fun. Okay, you guys. <laughs> we'll just turn off that alarm that's telling me that it's time to stream a couple minutes too late. All right, <sighs> let's get down to business before I just start rambling off as I usually do, okay? We're going to go over our lovely rules. Again, we haven't found a better word for rules yet, but rules of the studio. Okay. Number one, I'm not a trained teacher. Okay. I'm just a gal who paints all the time. So if I explain something poorly, if I'm too fast, like if, because that happens a lot. I talk too fast a lot. Please let me know. Don't be scared to ask a question, to holler at your girl, to like pull it back a little bit. That's fine, okay? Um, uh, and if I explain something poorly, let me know. Because sometimes that happens. It happens to the best of us, okay? Uh, number two is you can totally start with pencil if you want. Some people are way more comfortable with pencil than a brush when it comes to line work and stuff like that. So 
Go for it if you want. Don't press too hard. That's always my rule. You will get dusty pencil, graphite, dust. I don't graphite dust on your canvas <laughs> and that will mix with your color okay and it'll get dusty yeah just like i'll go set up there dusty and it will mix up your colors and make them a little more dull and gray and that's just not a good time <sighs> nerdy bales hello this is click play to get a unicorn prop we probably should have did the poon uni hey i don't know what i was thinking but hey if you guys are tempted i <laughs> Nothing's not out of my control. <laughs> Just kidding. Just kidding. Um, okay, where are we at? We're at rule number three. Don't treat this unicorn too precious, okay, everybody? I know you're going to be like, oh, I want it to be so beautiful. And with every brush stroke, you're going to be panicking that you're going to ruin it. But don't, okay? But every time that it comes in there that you're scared to lay a brush stroke down, just hear me right now being like, get that out of your head, Okay. Know that if you're using acrylic, we can paint right over top of that with anything else. Like, there's no such thing as mistakes in acrylic because we can cover it up and you being scared and nervous will hinder your the fun we're about to have, which is like rule. No, that's another rule coming up. I'm getting ahead of myself. <laughs> and number four is trust the process. Okay. That's rule. That should be the and Look. I'll got new in the comments there. It should probably be the only rule. No halfway through. Your unicorn is going to look like this. Probably not even exactly like this. It's going to look a little bit different. It's going to look weird. You're going to be like, what am I painting? She told me she's not a teacher and I believe her now. This sucks. That might happen, okay? And all I want is for you to just trust the process and understand that in the last like five minutes, a couple outlines, some brush strokes of hair, this uni is going to come together. Oh, thanks for the ice cream. The unicorn will come together in the end. I promise. Most people are like, I hated it until the end. And that means they trust the process. So that's why it's the be all end all rule. Okay. One of, uh, what are we at? Number five, water is your friend. Okay. It is acrylic paint. It is a water-based paint and water will help. If something is feeling weird, like your paint's not pulling across. Most of the time when there's a problem, Water will solve it. So don't be scared of water. You're going to hear me say, water's your friend, like 40 times today, okay? So just be prepared for that. And last rule that I almost got ahead of myself earlier is just like have fun, okay? This is supposed to be stress-free. You're making something for yourself. Awesome. Don't be stressed. We're having fun. There's a bunch of people here. It's sometimes people like that they can't see each other. Some people like that you're no one else can see their painting, but... Know that we're all here together and it's fine, okay? Come into the comments. If you're watching on YouTube, people have told me that they like, I don't know if it's weird that I'm just like talking to people that you're not there for, but some people like it that it seems like they're like hanging out with us too. So all you people in the peanut gallery, I always like when you keep that conversation going because I get awkward, big pots getting drunk, like whatever you guys want, we can make it happen, okay? All right. Hey, Tay, how's been? Oh, my week's been good, Big Pot. Thank you. A little crazy, but good. Okay. Um, our, The world's just weird, you know? So we're just painting our way through it. Al God's not painted tonight because her hand is swollen because of karate. I'm glad that you ha do karate. That's super cool. <laughs> See, you don't only... don't. It's good to have lots of hobbies, okay? Don't only paint like I did forever and then you become a weak little weakling, okay? <laughs> okay, so everybody, let's take a big breath. Let's say happy birthday to the birthday girl if you're out there. Okay. <laughs> and the happy birthday comments come. All right, all right. I am a weak little weakling. It's true. I used to be tough and strong, you guys, and now I'm a weaky little weakling. <laughs> okay. I'm itchy. Sorry. Kenzie's like, we're working out. Take that back. That's true. Me and Kenzie are just beginning our fitness journey. And you guys, I am rollerblading through my apartment every day. I feel like that's like a workout, too. It's like a core workout. Soon I'll be just like moonwalking in. Okay, I'm distracted. Let's paint a unicorn. So just like on other ones, you don't have to make her pink and purple like we're going to do in the picture here. Like you can copy the same 
techniques as I'm teaching in these colors, but maybe just add blue instead of pink, like whatever floats your boat. Um, I am going to start with pink. Um, because if you look at the two colors that we're using, we're using pink and purple and realistically pink is lighter than purple. So if you chose two different colors to use, use the lighter color first, or if you're using pencil, just take out your pencil. If you don't have pink, that's just good old red and white. And you can also play around with like maybe adding a touch of yellow in there to make it like corally. You can add um, a touch of blue in there to make it more cool and purple. Color is, I don't want you guys to get hung up on the colors that I'm using if you want to do something else at home. Color's fun to play around with. Just get that out of there. Okay. The rollerblades have paint on them, don't they? They don't yet because I just got them three days ago, but they will at some point, I'm sure. Um, you can start with a pencil, 100%. Start with a pencil if you want. So we have our lightest color on our palette right now, okay? And we're going to take our paintbrush and we're going to go into our water and we're just going to scoop with our paintbrush water onto our palette to get our good old chocolate milk consistency. So if you're new here, that's, we made a good pile. Some people might want to just pour a little bit of water. Some people have like little droppers they say that they like to use. I'm all about just scooping it with my paintbrush out of the water dish we've already made. And then we're going to take little chunks of that color and bring it right into that water. And see over here, you can see, oops, down over here. Um, uh, you're going to mix in little bits of pigment into that water so you get a good watered chocolate milky consistency. You don't want it too watered down, too thick. Oh God has a plan. I should try paint pouring. You know, I know I should. I've never done it, but you're 100% right that I should. Okay, everybody, are we ready? We have our little tiny paintbrush, whatever size you want. It can be pointed. It can be bigger than that. It can be square. It can be whatever. Maybe it's tiny, whatever you want, okay? And you're going to look at our picture over here. And look at our canvas and acknowledge where we're going to put that unicorn. It's always good to just kind of like have a rough idea just in your head. Try to visualize where we're going to put it so that we don't run out of space. And you like draw a circle really big and then there's no room on the side. Okay. But nobody panic and trust the process. Exactly what Alka said. <laughs> so remember, this is what we're doing. So we're going to start by painting a big old circle, which is basically just going to be the big head of our unicorn. Okay. So I'm going to go, let's say here. So not really right in the middle. I'm going to go right to the right, a tiny touch. It's not right in the center. It's a little bit over to the right. See how I went around that circle a bunch of times? Because it is almost impossible unless you have lots of practice to paint a perfect circle in one fell swoop. Is that how you say that? So it's okay, since this is our rough draft, right? If you have a pencil, you can be penciling this out. This is just, we're using this chocolate milky consistency as like our rough sketching pencil, okay? We want it to be super thin. Yours can be lighter than that even. You can have more water in there. You don't have to see it as dark as mine is right now for y'all to see, okay? Okay. And then, oh, hello, Dresden. Oh, good evening all. Hope all are well and safe. Tay, teaching great things. Sweet, sweet soul. Hope you're safe too. Even though now I feel like Canada's, we're the ones that are struggling the most. <laughs> okay, so. All right, so now we are going to go to our little schnoz of that unicorn, right? You can almost see in this picture here, right? Like this circle we drew is basically that big old cheek right there. And now we're just going to come over a little bit further. We're going to make the snout of that unicorn. It's going to be a smaller circle, okay? Let's go. Mine's coming pretty close to the edge, but what can you do? Neat Thursday night for a unicorn. Tender bear, not wrong. How's you doing? Always good to see you. And Al goes back with the Tylenol. Perfect. Okay. How's that? 
we've got a big circle and a little circle. It looks like we're almost painting space right now. But instead, we are just gonna, oops, where's my, oh, oh, just, let's get that there. But instead, now we're gonna come to the top of that circle, see how it's smaller, right? At an angle here. Now let's just attach these, okay? Let's attach that line. Easy peasy. It's not right up to the top. There's a little bit of like a forehead, I guess you can say. And yes, you are right. We are painting a space theme next week. It's literally just going to be, there's no, pen, we can't pencil draw next week's for sure. It's going to have to be paint. And it's so fun. We're just throwing paint around. There's real schlob fests happening, you guys. It's the best. Uh, no pencil. I know, Nico. You're going to have to. You're gonna have to let go. You're gonna have to. You're gonna have to. I know, thanks, Big Pot. You're the best. And I knew that sh saying Schlaf Fest was gonna piss Kenzie. <laughs> yeah. That's what it's gonna be. Makes the most sense. Schlaf Fest. Okay. And we're gonna come over here and we're gonna attach this bottom. And again, we're not gonna come all the way to the bottom of that circle because he has a little bit of a lip. We're probably gonna grow it a little bit, but let's just add it right there. Boop. What are we painting? Y'all never know. Sometimes this is what I mean by trusting the process, right? Okay, we're going to come to the top of that circle and let's just paint a little pointed triangle. Check that out. Easy. Look how easy this one is. We've done a few lines and it is already looking like a uni. And they thought Oktoberfest was sloppy wait till slop. <laughs> you better wait, y'all. You better wait. Watercolor dries so fast. It's that's depending. You might need to be adding more water. What type of paper are you working on? Watercolor is so touchy. I know I told you guys I would teach you a watercolor class, and I will. I will. It's just so much more complex than acrylic. Okay. We've got a thick sketchbook paper. That's a tough one. If you add more water, it might buckle your page. You might have to play with that a little bit. Let me think about that as we go. Um, Al God, it's okay. You can be quiet. It's okay. Don't worry. You don't have to talk the whole time. <laughs> okay, we've got a little triangle ear. And now from the, uh, the middle of this circle, right, we got a circle here. We're going to go to the middle right here. And we're just going to draw a line in the shape of where we want that neck to go, right? It's kind of curved down. Whoop. And in this picture right here, you can see, right? We're looking at a reference. There is this dominant line down her throat, neck. I'm not sure. And then we're gonna come a little ways down to the bottom, probably about aligned where we match this line up, right? See, we match the line up here and about parallel on the other side. That's where we're gonna add the rest of their neck, okay? And we're just gonna curve it down. Whoop. Most of the hair is gonna solve lots of our problems. This looks like a funny, tiny little neck, but don't worry, the neck comes up tall, don't you worry. Hair. The hair is going to be luscious and beautiful. Most of this painting is literally going to be hair coming off the page. It's going to be magical. If you got some glitter, take it out. If you're someone who does makeup and you've got some glitter, perfect. If you're someone who's arts and crafty and you got some glitter, we can probably have a lot of fun with glitter today. Kenzie says, don't make me bust out my horse girl terminology. Please do. We like to learn things here as well on the streams, okay? 
My lines are aged sketching habits. That's okay. See, I'm a very do like I started as a sketcher, doodler, drawer, and I um when I moved to painting, I still hold a lot of that with it. I'm a very sketchy, illustrative painter. Do whatever you want. Art's the best. Um, okay, so now we can you can decide to make this line or not because realistically the hair is gonna flow over top of it. But again, we're just gonna mock that line. And we're going to know that that neck is going to... Neck, Kenzie? Am I not saying... Is it not a neck? Is that what you're saying to me? But I think we have a horse, people. Right, right, right. Okay, now let's come to the top of that forehead circle. And let's make... It's This is going to be very dependent again for people I don't know what will be easiest so some people might want to draw a line for how long you want it to be and then from that point bring it into the width that you want you see how we did that oh Kenzie corrected me you guys it is not a neck this is the crest of the horse right correct am I correct Okay, I don't know. I know some of you follow me on Instagram, but not everybody does. Um, some of you are not going to care about this at all. <laughs> but, um, I posted the other day about um, what you might call it. Cat attack! We were all saying happy birthday to you! Okay, okay, okay. Happy birthday. <laughs> <laughs> okay, cool, cool, cool. Uh, should I wait? Should I wait? Do these shapes look copyable for you? Sorry, but what was I? Uh, how do you clean paint? Like off of stuff or off of your painting? Water is always the best. If it's on stuff, like soak in water and do some. Dab dabs. Dab dab dab. Usually, it's water's fr like getting it wet fast is usually the best. Okay. Well, the birthday girl's here, you guys. That's exciting. Again, thanks for choosing a unicorn because it's fun for us. Okay. I'm thinking, let's just do a couple. We're just gonna, while we let cat attack catch up a little bit, um, we will, well, Katrina, we will um, just do a couple little lines to pre plan out where we're gonna start coloring stuff in. We're gonna say goodnight to Owl God because we're gonna go to bed, telling everyone to trust the process. Good night. Hope you're. Headache goes away. That's a nuisance. Oh my god, don't apologize. Don't apologize. Okay. I apologize for yawning because I might have just gave some of you my yawn. I'll try to keep those to myself. Okay. So, and now I have Sorry, Kenzie. Don't worry, you guys. I won't let it happen. I won't let it happen. Okay. So, the thing that's nice about this unicorn is it's pretty, like, it's not fully colored in. So, we can decide ourselves if we want to do that or not. But as we let Katrina catch up to the shapes that we have, we're just going to acknowledge some of these little lines that we're going to build up, right? So, in this horse's face... We're just going to plan out where some of those like veiny, muscly parts are. Hello, kiddo. How's it going? Big Pot hasn't slept in 24 hours either. You guys are crazy. Crazy. All right. And to make this more of a horse's nose, we're going to bubble it out a little bit out the top. Just a little bit, right? How are we doing this lovely evening? Fine, thank you. Painting a unicorn, how can we go wrong, right? Oops. Okay. 
Okay. And we are going to, like I said, we're probably going to bubble out that little bottom lip a little bit more. We're just going to make that circle that we've already drew, drawn, um, whatever works there. And just bubble it out a little bit more, okay? Perfect. And we're gonna come up kind of where this line's pointing, right? We drew this little triangle here and this line's pointing right up to where this eyeball is gonna go. All of our horses are derpy, Big Pot. We're supposed to be trusting the process, remember? <laughs> it's gonna look really weird right now, don't you worry. But right here, we just gotta draw an eyeball. All right, right underneath there's a circle. I don't know why I drew a line there. I got distracted, but we are drawing just a circle. It's gonna look hilarious. But later with our paint, we're gonna make it look a little more realistic, okay? And there's gonna be hair there, right? So we don't have to worry about a lot of details. It's nice, it's nice. It totally is an instruction. I used to do them digitally, but this is me not having time to do that all the time. So I just do a little Sharpie doodle. So we all can see, like I might've even painted, eh, whatever, we'll figure this out. <laughs> um, but it just helps for people to see where the shapes come from. Okay. Uh, I have an Intuis. Intuis? Intuis? Is that what it's called? I think it's a Wacom Intuis. Pretty sure. Okay. Hair's great for covering up details. Maybe for me. <laughs> dot, dot, dot. You mean, I just, I read that poorly. I didn't add the dot, dot, dot for the dramatic pause. Maybe for me. But no, same. I use my hair to do that often. <laughs> Okay, so this line is our horse is basically ready for us to start coloring some stuff in, okay? Let's do it. I'm just looking back and forth to make sure. You know what? Actually, I'm lying to you. Am I? No, I'm not. We're going to keep with that color, whatever color you still have on your palette. And we're going to get a bigger paintbrush than what we were using before, okay? I'm using a pointed one. It doesn't have to be pointed. Oh, my nose, nose is already itchy. And with our pure color, like I'm using pink, because remember, we're going to put white on top of this. Um, I am going to start filling in where these big chunks of uh, color, of hair should be going, okay? We're gonna ditch that chocolate milk consistency that we were using and we're gonna add more paint to that pile because we want it to be pretty, we want it to be a lot thicker. We don't want it to be very watered down. And we're gonna have fun with this part, okay? Because remember, we're just gonna throw a bunch of paint around and it's gonna be flowy and fun, okay? So let's start right above their eye here and we are going to just whoop, check that out. Hello, Bubsy. How are you doing? Is that the only digital art tablet I've used or have you used them before? So I, the one I used before this was also a Wacom, but it wasn't the Intuit. So like it was, it was just the tablet and I had to look at my laptop as a screen while the one I have now is the screen is this, like, is what you draw on, if that makes sense. You hate which one? The one that you have to paint on? Which one do you not like? Yeah, the one that you can, it's just, I prefer the ones that the screen is on it and that's what you're painting on because then it feels more real, like you're actually drawing because it's a very like detached, it's very detached to like look forward while you're painting down here, you know? But anyway, you got the children's book? Did you read it? Oh, that makes me so happy. Okay, so I'm just going in here 
and we're just putting some swirly hairs, okay? And it's solid right now because we're going to go in with white on top of it to add in all that hair texture. So right now we're just playing. And remember, if you have white acrylic paint, like if you don't like a hair that you placed, we can easily paint over it with white. But we're just going to make it go crazy. Whoop. But cursor's eyes were after it. Yes. Like cursor meaning like, like where it's like a tablet. Where it's like a big trackpad, basically. Okay, the crazier the better with this hair. Okay, everybody add some water to pull that paint along. Detached. Um, Lisa's talking about the children's book that I illustrated. She says it's brilliant. I um honestly I'm so happy with the project. Mostly like I'm just honored to have been a part of it. Who are we talking? And not who are we talking? Um, who are we kidding? Um, the author it wrote just a beautiful like rhyming story. Um, it is called The Wonders That I Find. It's on my it's on Amazon, it's on Indigo, it's on my website, ttc.com. And it's a really, it's a great children's book. And I'm like so happy that I was able to illustrate it. And it was so fun. And like my watercolor illustrations were so, it was just fun. It was fun. Okay, how's our crazy unicorn hair going? Like, let's just pull some over here. Oh, well, that seems fun. Looks like he's balding. Oh, 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 okay, okay, okay. If it looks like it's balding, if it looks like it's balding, we'll continue. Just add more. Straight claps. What you danging about? I'll take it either way. Let's make some more hair on down there. And we can make some like more like make let's try to make a hair kind of match one we've already did. Like, oh, that's fun. It looks cool. Thanks. I'm excited to see other people's too. Other people are painting the unicorns at home. Again, remember everyone, don't treat this too precious. This must be a time that we're like enjoying just throwing the paint around. Oh, look, that's a crazy hair. Sure, let's make that happen. Boop. Remember, if you are somebody who likes drips, you just got to add a little more water to that paint. And when you bring it onto the canvas, it should start dripping. If you want to add some like cool drips, that's kind of fun. And also remember, we still have to paint in our unicorn. So it's not... Like a lot of this stuff is for just for us to know where it's going to go for laying stuff. Oh my gosh, my paint just exploded for laying stuff out. We're going to do fine details at the end. Whoop, whoop, whoop. And remember, you take the paint night as far as you want. Some people wait till the next day and they finish it. Then they add more details. We just tried to shove this into two hours. And then you can add as much detail as you want. You can put as many hairs as you want. You can make them as detailed as you want. Um, we just go over the basic, quick and painless way. See, how's that? I think that's cool. I told you this would be my favorite part. I love just throwing paint around, all right? How about that? Your sister would love this. Well, it's rec oh actually as I say that I just panic that it's not recording, but it is recording. It's recording right now. So if you ever wanted to paint this, it's going up on YouTube right when I'm done. And either you or your sister can paint it. I just post these recordings straight on there so that uh in case you miss the paint night or if you like it, you can try it yourself. Okay, 
So again, I'm still using the same color that I did the outline of our unicorn with. I'm just letting the paint drip because that's fun. We're going to do more thin, little more detailed lines as we go. Right now we're just playing. We're laying. <laughs> playing works. Laying out where we want. The hair to go. I made the hair pretty crazy when I'm looking at the reference photo to mine. It's a little loco, but you know, we're just going to go for it. Okay. So our crazy unicorns have begun, right? Now we're going to take our secondary color. What is it going to be for you guys? I'm going to do exactly like the picture that we're copying. I'm going to use purple. So I am going to take a little bit of purple out on my page. You can use blue. You can use, if you want black and white, that's fine too. Someone went too crazy. Big pot, never. There's never such thing as too crazy. Okay, I promise. Let's uh, get this going here. Okay, not too crazy. Remember, we can go in with white and just like, chill her out a little bit if we want to, but we don't have to because crazy is awesome. Okay. So we're taking out a secondary color. Mine's purple. Oh, and straight club says it looks very difficult. I like to think I, I try to make them easier than people think Ugh, they're going to be, but I also can't speak for you guys if it's difficult or not. So you let me know if it is. Try to make it the easiest. But my YouTube is the same as my caffeine, Taytayski. I'm going to say Taytayski.com, but it's not. It's YouTube slash C slash Taytayski. Oh my gosh, I'm punching stuff. And I have like almost 60 paint nights on there, you guys. That's nuts to think about. Okay, so... It generally is easy, but they have their moments. There we go. That's an honest opinion. I like that. Okay, so we're taking our secondary color. Like I said, mine's purple. Um, and we are going to start filling in this uni. We're going to get a bigger paintbrush. A little bit bigger. There's some paintbrush ASMR for you if you want. <laughs> I'm just going to get a bigger guy here. Um, just because we're going to start just filling in all these darker spots, right? And with our acrylic, our white is going to be on top. That's just going to kind of bring it all together. We work dark to light. All right. So we get that big old brush that we just took out. And we're going to go into our purple. And for some of you, if you want, you can add a little bit of your pink in there so that it's not so stark of a difference. Like there's a little bit of um, cohesiveness, I guess, between the two colors that you're using in there. So I have my purple with a touch of pink, not, you don't have to do this by any means. We're using more paint than water, right? So we don't have that chocolate milk consistency. We want pretty thick paint on our uh, brushes. Okay. And we're gonna start by, when we squint at this unicorn over here, we can see that, wait, over here, that where the dark parts are, right? That's what we are going to put our purple. So we're just going to start in that nose, right? And I'm just going to start filling in these spots. Oh my gosh, Joe Kaiser. Hello. We're painting a unicorn. How are you doing? But okay, right, we're filling in these shapes. We've got water on our brush. Not too much water, but some water, right? And we're just going to go along on these areas and start filling in, if we're looking at our reference photo, where the dark spots are, okay? You're playing Cod and Watch Me Paint? I love that. I love that. Guys, Call of Duty, I love Call of Duty. My boyfriend plays it. I play, I can't play live. 
Like I can't play online because I have to screen watch. I don't know how you guys play without being able to cheat and screen watch with people. <laughs> I can't do it. So Dan and I always play like gun game or like things like that. He's obviously way better than me, but going online is just like nightmare enhancing for me. Okay. See how I am filling in some of these spots of the dark areas, right? <laughs> um, we play PlayStation. No, not Xbox. We're PlayStation. Day three is night for the competition. Say it ain't so. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I'm a cheater. I'm not a cheater in everything, but I'm a cheater in games like that. <laughs> yes. Okay, so we go. It must suck to be on PlayStation. Oh my gosh, don't even get me started. I'm not even a real gamer, but like your guys' controllers have batteries. <laughs> Come on. PlayStation's better. For for that alone. Okay. So we're starting in the dark areas. Right? And we are filling in from the darkest spot out. And if our paint's still wet, remember, see, like, I still have purple on my brush. I just dipped in water. I'm going to go right into white, okay? And we're going to go right over top that purple that we're already on. And we're going to start lightening up some of those areas that we see in our reference photo to kind of enhance those parts of his face, right? So around the nose, there's a nice circle. Do you see that coming together? Slowly but surely. And it's nice if your purple is wet, right? Because then you're working wet on wet and it kind of blends in together. Oh my gosh, straight claps. I hope I didn't offend you. <laughs> but by making fun of Xbox consoles. I mean, controllers. Okay, we're coming back into that mouth again. And same thing. Like, let's just do a good old swipe of white. And see how it's not pure white because it went into our purple that's already wet. Right? And you can play around with these, like, blending with these colors. This might be stressful for some people. Things might not be working nicely. But guess what? We're going to let it dry with this half blue, or half, it's not half blue, with this lighter purple that we're making by working wet on wet. And once it's dry, we're going to go back in with pure white again. It's going to bring it up even more. Okay? Trust me, you guys. I not trust me. Let me know if anything weird is going on and you're just not, if it's not going well for you, let me know. Okay? And I still am going into our wet purple with white on our brush and see how my wet my purple must be drying a little bit because it's not blending in as nice and that's okay we're just gonna add a little more water to our brush <laughs> that you know yeah let me know one day you will paint Dresden. One day you will paint with us. I feel it in my bones. All right, and I still have this light purple on my brush now, and I'm gonna keep kind of blending it in these spots. We're gonna blend it out to white in the end, but this is helping us build up shape. Oh yeah, right, you're a chalk. Right, I keep forgetting that. Right, because I feel, right? You sent, didn't you send me a guitar that you painted, illustrated, painted? Yes, not painted, chalked. Okay. I'm still gonna go back into that purple with a touch of pink or just straight purple, whatever you decided, right? And we're going to come back into some of these spots. 
and pull it through. I know, like, our unicorn looks very scary, you guys. I know. But we're painting it in a different, a, a promise you, a way different way than the original artist did it. Painting it the Taytayski way. Sorry. And, uh, by putting these dark colors underneath and then putting white on top, it really helps add that, my favorite word, depth and dimension that we're looking for. Taytayski Tart Cartel! Yo, 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 RCV. Straight claps. It looks wonderful. Better than mine. Sweet soul. None of them look bad. They all look perfect in their own way, okay? And you want to keep the scary look? Do it. This is giving me kind of like, what is it? Sleepy Hollow vibes right now. Kind of, hey? Okay, but when we have this dark paint, I probably shouldn't have just been gabbing away because we want to do that good old blendy blend in the wet that we were talking about. I mean, that we're talking about that we've done before. So we're going to go back into the white and just pull it across and see how that blends in there. Nice and nice. <laughs> okay, I'm lagging on my computer. Am I lagging for you guys today? I'm going to be mad if I am. It looks like I am. Okay. And remember, if something blends too much and maybe your white turns into your purple too much and it gets too dark, that's fine. Like, add some more white in there. Pull it across. A little. Probably some bandwidth drop. I thought it was my end. That's annoying. I hate when that happens. Especially when I don't change anything. Come on, little guy. I know. I live downtown. <laughs> I live downtown Calgary. And uh, so y'all going to hear that. Um, usually they don't go for that long. But I'm right behind a hospital as well. So. Man, I don't know what to do about my leg. Let me see here. What is it? No, my OBS is smooth, but I am all... Yes, I am. Stream sniping my own stream. I always have um, the stream open at the same time. But the OBS isn't la la lagging. My OBS is not lagging, which means it's an internet issue. Correct? That stresses me out. It's just like last time, like when we got all set up with Justin, when we were doing games and it was so laggy, we couldn't figure out why. And like we logged off and we delayed and all this stuff. And then we changed nothing and it just started to work all of a sudden. Okay. <laughs> the painting's still visible, so it's fine, I guess. We'll just keep it coming. Okay. So... We've been doing the same old, same old this whole time, right? Caffeine 1080 is helping you. <laughs> hey, but maybe it's hindering me right now. Who knows? Ugh. Let me know if it's, like, impossible to follow. And I will, uh, like, log off and restart or something. I don't know. Okay. So we've got our unicorn here, and since we've been a little bit delayed and we couldn't do our good old blend for as much as we wanted, <laughs> I'm just going to mix my purple with white just to get a lighter color, like a lighter 
purple, and I'm just going to fill the empty spaces. So this isn't white, right? This is just our lighter purple. Purple with a bunch of white in it. And we are just going to fill in those spots that we should have blended in before <laughs> I got stressed out by the internet. You know what I'm saying? And like, I'm not even using my music today. There's no, nothing else in my house is using the internet. I cry. Well, the YouTube video is going to be smooth. <laughs> okay, so. We've got an ear. We've got our unicorn filled in. And the one thing that we're going to do while we still have this color on our brush is we are just going to fill in our um let me see we're going to fill in our little unicorn point, okay? With our light purple. No, dad's not even home. That's he downloaded that before. He left, so that's weird that it's happening and it's sad. No crying, stream will be fine. <laughs> Thanks for the cookie. Okay, so we've got a purple. Totally lagging. What? can I do here? Give me one moment. Um, Do I have loads of Google tabs open? They tend to be hogs. Um, let's just close that. Only one. Okay, I'm closing the one that I'm watching my cell phone, so you guys have to tell me if it's still lagging or not. I hate when this happens. Hey, no, that won't even close. There you go. Like, why? I haven't had problem lagging for so long. Let me look down here. Cleared up a little bit. Yeah, right. Okay, well, okay, sure. <laughs> it's me punching my computer. That's because you're on a PlayStation. <laughs> no, I'm not streaming on a PlayStation right now, silly. Okay, we have our unicorn all decked out in purple for now, okay? Again, I closed the screen where I can see if I'm lagging or not. So y'all have to tell me. I'm just going to keep going. We are going to just take out black for a second. It's kind of a nuisance that we, I just, we need to fill in the eyeball quick. And then we're going to use white and it's going to feel like sad because it's going to feel like we're going to go over a bunch of work that we just did. We're going to take out a little bit of black just to fill in that eyeball with whatever size brush you want, right? Okay, I'm using pure black, not much water on my brush. I am just going to fill in, it doesn't have to be the full circle, but the eye is still going to look crazy. We're just going to put a little black spot right in the middle there. What if I zoom in? Oh, it looks even crazier. There. Okay. 
How's that? And then we are going to right in that little nose crescent just put a little black swipe right there. Okay. And in the mouth, just a little meat right there. And then we're going to get our white on, okay? Some of you might want to clean your water. If your water is filled with paint, it might not flow as nicely. You can use whatever you want. Some might want to use a square. Um, you can use another pointed. Whatever feels right to start filling in big parts of this um, unicorn, okay? Let's get it going. And we're gonna, oh, we want all this to be dry. So if your paint isn't dry, then watch for first and then come back to it, okay? So when we're doing this white, it's kind of tricky. You're going to be playing between using water and not using water because we want some parts to be translucent. We want that color on the bottom to peek through. And the way we make paint translucent is by adding more water. Water's your friend, remember? So I've got a nice chunk of water on my paintbrush. And we are going to fill in all these spots of the white. Whoop, whoop, whoop. That we, when you're looking at your reference, well, you don't, you can look at mine if you want as well, but that's how I'm deciding where I'm putting all the white spots is we're looking at our reference photo. You have a rag to wipe off extra paint on if you need. And then you can go clean off your brush. What camera am I looking at? Clean off your brush, add just water onto your brush and come back to that white line and you can like buff it out. Like see how you can pull that paint across a little bit. Who doesn't have white? Big pot, you know what? That's okay. That's okay. We are, oh no, I just pulled. Um, you don't have white. So that's fine. You liked that your unicorn was looking on the dark, scary side. So let's just keep them that way. So what you are going to do instead, you're going to have to do the opposite. You are going to darken up the dark spots. So since you can't lighten it up, you're going to come into where all the spots that are dark and you're going to have to darken them up a little bit more. So that's like by adding more layers of your watercolor. That's the beauty of watercolor is that it's time consuming but the layers are so beautiful and you can add nice watery layers on top watercolor is more even more so than acrylic watercolor is trust the process tenfold you have to trust the process and it's a slow process okay how are our dreamy unicorns coming with this white over top is this a again you guys if i teach something poorly or a technique or a bad way you gotta tell me because <laughs> i don't know yours is horrible for real for real no 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 i don't know if you're here at the start you mustn't have got the memo about trusting the process okay because right now it is weird there's lots of a mess going on we're just throwing paint around into spots it's the last few steps that things come together but remember, if you have just water, I cleaned off my brush and I have just water on my paintbrush, you can come to these sh sharper lines and kind of like buff them out with water. See? And those will dry a little bit lighter because it's more water than paint in there. Okay? And remember, you can go as many layers as you want. Like, if you don't like that that didn't go bright enough, look, we're going to put another swipe of white just right on top. That's totally fine. doesn't matter if you want. And just like in our reference photo, this big old cheek is pretty white. 
And so we're going to throw some paint in there and with water on our brush, we're going to pull that around and see how when I'm putting these brush strokes on, I'm painting them in the shape of that circle, right? Perfect. I don't hear any voices, so we're just going for it. And some people might be like, why did we even paint it purple first if we're just putting white over top of it? <laughs> and it's all just about the layering effect. It's all just adding. It's just so that your unicorn doesn't look too flat. Okay. You normally hear voices. What do you mean, Kenzie? What do you mean? Sorry, is it wrong for me to think that the uni partook in a bit much? What do you mean? The uni partook, what do you mean? I'm confused. Oh, sorry. Look, see my brain's everywhere. Kenzie's right. I meant reading any comments. Okay. Voices, comments, same thing. Oh! Yeah, you're not wrong. Um, Dresden said the unicorn looks like they partook in a little too much. And yes, the red around the eyeballs has added to that for sure. You're not wrong. But we are going to get that out of there. Don't you worry. That devil's lettuce. <laughs> okay, so we've got our unicorn going. We're adding these white spots. I was tangenting about why we do it in these layers. It just, you, we could have just painted just a little bit of purple shadow if you wanted and leave just the canvas, but I just, uh, that's just not how I do it. So, so we're going the good old tay tay -ski way, okay? Layers. Layers and layers. So we've got in that ear, we've got our pure white behind it. Again, remember, we can add straight paint and then get just water on our brush and pull it across. And let's just pull that line on down. We're mocking that same line we drew from the start. If we covered up some of the purple, don't be alarmed. Guess what? We can paint it again if you really want to. Okay. I can't see you kill me. Okay. So. We will get this blitzed unicorn not blitzed in no time, okay? Let's see how she goes. All righty. Let's give this uni some eyelashes, which was what I was waiting for, though. Maybe we'll maybe that'll help the situation a little bit. Okay, okay. And like I said, like maybe you painted over that line too much. You can go right back into your purple if you want. I probably shouldn't have with that brush, but that's fine. And you can look, just draw it right back in and go back in with darker later if you want. Nothing's permanent with acrylic paint, am I right? Couldn't we have mixed white and purple to get an inconsistent texture? You mean like dark to light? Like mixing these colors? A hundred percent. A hundred percent. Again, I am a very uh, lazy painter. So for me, if we paint the dark underneath, then we just need white and more water to play with different values instead of having to mix and make try and mix the right one. So it kind of like saves you some steps when the darker color is underneath and then you just use different amounts of white to control your darks to lights. Does that make sense? <laughs> In my head, that makes sense. Um, 
But yes, you're not wrong at all. Lazy painter, same one that did 30 pages for a hotel and a children's book and commission. Yeah, but that's why I can do so many is because I cut corners while painting. That's the secret. <laughs> I like to paint smartly. No, what is it? Like work, like work smart, not hot, efficient, not late. There you go. That's fair. You're right. See, I'm just letting my, I'm putting myself down with my words. <laughs> not using the right words. Okay, when we come to this little uni, I'm just going to get a small brush for a second, and we're going to go to this eyeball. And again, we're still going to have to go back with black paint, okay? But we are just going to give them some eyelashes, which is basically just a rectangle line right across the top of that circle, right? Do you see that there? Why waste time? Say lot word when few word do trick. Exactly. <laughs> That's funny. Okay. We've got our unicorn. Let me know if we're ready to start coloring in that hair again with white. We're going to be doing literally the same thing. You can spec some spots up here. It looks like they have some spots in there. But when it comes to the hair, like I said, we're going to be doing exactly the same thing. We've got maybe a little bit smaller of a paintbrush. Right? Pointed might help. Doesn't have to be pointed. It could help, though. We're going to go right into that pure white again. See you later, straight claps. Thanks for hanging out with us for a bit. Sorry I made fun of Xboxes. <laughs> Okay, when it comes to the hair, we're going to be acknowledging that it's hair, right? So it's okay for us to keep me doing swipey swipes, okay? <laughs> so we can pull some white hairs, and as you go through, you're going to kind of mock the shapes that you already drew of those hairs, right? And the more you go without reloading your paintbrush, the drier your paintbrush is going to get, okay? You can even, if you want, dab it a couple times on your paper towel or whatever you're using. And that's going to give you these hair-like textures. Do you see how they're kind of sandpapery? The more you use them, you can pull these through and use that wispy white on the end of your brush to add some hair-like textures, All right? And again, you can load up your brush and you start wherever you want. And the more you pull it through without loading it up more, you can get these dry brush. Now it's like the opposite of what I've been telling you this whole time about waters your friend and load your brush yada 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 now it's almost nice when your brush starts to get a little dry at the end because then you can use that to your advantage to get some brushy strokes okay you guys i've told you before how like not having music on makes me loco and i don't know how i lost lasted this whole time and now all I can hear is my clock just like. <laughs> A true survivor, I know. Sacrificing one for the team. <laughs> okay, let's just keep on brushing in some little hairs in there. The pink is the base, but the white now, if you, again, if you. Oh, I don't even have a picture of our unicorn. Let me add it in here. Is it this one? Oh, no, 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 not that. No, 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 go away. Where are you, unicorn? This one? There you are. Let's... Right? You can see that 
It's lighter around the roots and it gets darker at the edge where our pink already is. Right? And again, this is all trust in the process. The more little strokies you make, the more hair like those features will look. You can go in and mix if you want. You can go in and mix a little bit of white into your pink and add streaks of just the lighter pink in there if you wish. And again, going back to not everything's permanent, right? Like you, oops, what is that? Get that out of here. Guys, the streets of Calgary are crazy today. There's so many sirens. Um, nothing's permanent in the sense of like, let's say over here, like maybe I don't like how far this hair came over. With your pure white, like you can literally paint over that, right? It might need a couple layers, that's okay. But you don't have to stick with something if you don't want it on there. And so that's why I always talk about the whiteout method. Like use your white paint literally exactly like whiteout, like you would on paper. And you can get rid of some things you don't like if you want. That's completely optional. You submit these paintings for extra credit, Big Pot. I love that. I should advertise that as an option. If they're good and she likes them. Your art teacher dish, like that. I love that. <laughs> Heck yeah. I'm gonna start promoting that as come get extra credit. Paint nights with Tay Tay Sleep. <laughs> okay. Okay, let's make some more hairs. I'm being pretty wispy with them. She's making a watercolor painting of her backyard. Cute. Love that. What's going on out there? Okay. Whoop. Whoop, whoop. Okay, I'm just having fun making hairs everywhere. The streets are alive with the sound of sirens. Oh, I was just painting stuff you guys can't even see, like a jerk. Let's just go back. Look at that horse coming together. Oh, would you look who it is? Julio made it to the chat. Hello, Justin. Giving me a little Putin uni. Thanks. Wow, this, has this alfalfa sprout just been alfalfa in the whole time? That's fun. I'm a unicorn myself today. Love it. Okay. We've got a horse coming along. Right? And then now that we're still, you're still doing the hair. I'm going back into my pink for now. Because now that we've finished that body, you can bring some of those hairs if you want. I'll zoom in for those too. Right now you can bring them over top of your unicorn. Overlapping the body. Like what? That's the longest sirens have gone on for like straight in a long time. I do live right behind the sh hospital downtown, so it's not odd. But... Okay. They're just, yeah, they're just checking their sirens. That's all. That's just the annual siren check. Nothing to see here, folks. It's funny how you guys can hear that so well, though. My microphone's well. 
But again, right, you can come through and make some more wispy hairs if you wish. Like, maybe there's one that just comes down here, like, cute. I don't know. Why not? If you want, like, a really tiny brush to make, like, very wispies. Like, let's see, how about... Like here, Wee I don't know. That's fun. Harry and Spote was on a scooter. A hundred percent. You guys, I can't wait for scooters to be back. I honestly can't. One more month. You fell one time, big pot. One time I fell. And Kenzie says, why scoot when you can skate? And you know, you're not wrong, but the terrain out there is a little bit tougher for skate, like skate, roller skates. You know, that's the only reason why I've been like jamming in my home so much is because it's hardwood floors. That's great. And then I can't wear them in the house. Yeah, that's true. I never thought about that. I'm probably going to wear them outside and then in the house anyway because I'm like that. I'm just flailing some hairs around. I don't know how many people are unicorning today, but we're just all in this together. How's that for some flaily hairs? You're a true artist now. You have old jeans covered in art paint. <sighs> Welcome. That's 100%. Welcome to the art side. That's what gets you in. And then you'll soon upgrade to everything in your life. <laughs> Being <laughs> filled <laughs> with paint. No, thank you. It happens. It happens to the best of us, okay? Okay, so we're basically getting to our final parts here. Let's get that horn started. Your carpet was enough. Yes. That stresses me out, you guys. Don't paint on your carpets without protection. The horn is the same old, same old, but we've been doing this whole time. See, we've got dark on there already, and now we have a white on our brush. And we're going to pick an angle. Let's start down here. And you're going to do one swipe up. And you're going to just continue that little swipe, swipe, swipe all the way. Oh my gosh, I dropped it. I'll bring that in soon there. So you see it was just repetitive swipes with my white. I started at the bottom and I swiped over. Not all the way, almost. From right to left, halfway, leaving a little space in between. And then see, now that we did that dark underneath, that almost did all the work for us. And now we don't have to blend a couple colors, right? It's kind of nice. And to finish it all off, you guys know me with a good old black outline, but this black outline is just going to be a wispy fun one. We'll start with, yep, your horse is definitely on <laughs> No. We're zooming in here quick, and so I can show you this eyeball. With a little brush and with some black. We are going to draw a line. On the side of the eyeball. See how it's just a straight line. And the eyeball is in the middle of it. Here's a circle and we drew a line right here. And we're going to do a little bit of a curve over top of those eyelashes that we did. Look at him already becoming more horse-esque. Okay, 
if you want to make them more eyelashy, right? Like you can paint some lines in between there, white spots if you want. Okay. And then we're going to draw a little line underneath that eyeball. If that pink line makes them look not what we want, we'll fill that in. See how we covered? We basically just put a line across and did a big circle around the whole eye. And there's those little eyelashes in there. Right, but it's important that the line comes above to show that little eyebrow, that crease of his eye. Accidentally shading my horse gave a sideways look so I ain't touching it. What do you mean? I don't think I know what that means. He looks mean. Oh, like, hey, that's fine. Nothing wrong with the mean, dirty, dirty old side eye. Nothing wrong with that. And to finish off this unicorn, again, you can use a Sharpie. You can use a paint marker. You can use whatever you want. I'm using a little thin brush with our good pressure test. Don't forget, right? If you want to draw something thin, you're going to use just the tip of your paintbrush. See a nice thin line? You're using just the tip. But if you press the whole brush down, it's going to be a thicker line, right? So always be conscious of your pressure on your brush when you are using it. But this is really what's going to bring it all together in the end. You're going to make big, wispy, black outline at the end of all of your hairs. And you can make some hairs with this with like just black hairs too, if you want like a little flailed hair there. Oops, that one got a little wild on me. You can add a couple flaily ones down there if you want. But basically the rest of the unicorn is literally just. Do, do, do. Bringing some outline to our hairs. And you can like flail some around if you want. Like there's no rhyme or reason to the hairs. Kenzie's saying she uses the dirty side eye daily. So then you just painted Kenzie as a unicorn and I think that's beautiful. Same, same. And we're just pulling some hairs around. Let's see. Shoop. How do I maintain my brush heads to be thin or are mine just trash? So that is both can be true. Um, they could be trash. Um, I do suggest though, whenever you get them wet or like want to thin them out, like you can spin them in your hand and like when you load them with your paintbrush, like spin the brush, like on your palette, like spin it into the paint and it kind of shapes it a little bit more as well. Right, there's that. We can go, well, that was kind of a thick line, but that's fine. <laughs> and we're literally just going through and add, like it doesn't even have to be a perfect outline of what you've already drawn. Like see how it's just following the shape of where we've made some of those hairs. Because the more wispy, the better, right? Like we can even make like a little like curly Sue right there if you want. Shoop. Some of you like maybe you want to even use a pencil right now if it's working on top of your paints. Like what ever feels best. I know that thin outline can be really stressful for people. 
It's all just getting comfortable with that brush and just doing it over and over and over again. Right. Do, do, do. How are we feeling, folks? Just making some wispy hairs. Whoop, whoop. How about this one's more curly too? Because I think the curly Sue's are cute. Oops, that's fun. How are we feeling? Hello, Daryl. Thanks for the prop. And for the book. A hundred percent you could use a marker. Yeah, at the start, like I was saying, you can use a marker, Sharpie paint marker. I know, like I said, outline is a stressful time for some people and I understand why but I also can't live without an outline I just think it makes everything look so much better <laughs> look so good thanks Lisa it is coming together it's I'm hearing silence from the class so I'm stressed for them but she's coming along I don't know if I've painted a unicorn myself ever, have I? Well, I guess uh, this actually, that's kind of funny how it's coming up this week. I, um, I painted one of my commissions a couple of years ago was a alien wearing a leather jacket, riding a unicorn who is farting rainbows in space was the commission and uh it's funny that i forgot about it till now <laughs> that person <was> high. <laughs> uh, and i made like the rainbow like full glitter like full glitter rainbow of all the colors now i feel like i have to show you guys while you keep doing the hair i do want to show you though as you're going through here like Look, like some of them are big and thick. Like some of them don't match up. Like I think the crazier the better, to be honest. Cat wants to see it. Okay, okay, okay. It might take me a momento. I know it's a while in here, but you guys keep wisping those hairs around. While I look for them. Hint. And so that's like the background of this one is like in space, which is what we are doing next week, right? So that's why I think it's kind of funny. I'm like, oh my gosh, we did a unicorn today and we're doing space next week, which is literally this commission that I'm going to find on here. <sighs> it's a girl that I went to high school with. It was for her boyfriend. So I was like, that's a good email to receive. It was funny. Oh my gosh, as I post on Instagram too much, it's going to be a journey. What would a hashtag be of it? Oh, I know, Justin, I, I yawned earlier on and I said I apologized because I didn't want you guys to yawn too. And here I am still yawning. Twinning, Justin, as usual. Where are you, Christmas? Why can't I find you? Carol Baskin would love your pony. We are just talking about how I'm a unicorn today as well. That's my unicorn spike. Come on, little guy. Where are you at? Where are you at? How long ago did I paint you? Why do I post on Instagram so much? 
my hair last stream looked like Adora's. Like Adora Delano. Adora Delano. I don't even know her name now. Um, where is it? I think I'm close. I think I'm close. I think I'm close. Oh. I feel like it was around this time. What the? Sorry, guys. I'm just going a million years back here. How's the hair coming? How's the painting? Come on. Give me a alien. Riding a unicorn. In space. Did someone say alien? Kenzie's like getting out of here in a second. Now everything is, oh, oh, okay. I found the time lapse of it. So that means it is in, here we go. Wow, it's a terrible quality photo. Apparently in 2018, quality wasn't important. Okay, 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 come on, zoom in. Check it out. That's that's not bad, right? There he is in a leather jacket. He has Kanye West glasses on. <laughs> he has Kanye West glasses on, so who knows? Oh, that's fun. So that was that. Okay, how are we doing with our little hairsy hairs here? Weep, weep, weep. Like I said, I think the crazier the better. Do, 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 do. Okay, so Kenzie's already sent hers in, and we all know what that means. It's gonna be wild. Oh, that was a crazy line in there. Oh well. We're going for it. Whoop. Okay. And then realistically, you can really outline the entire unicorn if you want. Oops, that line was pretty crazy. All right. You forgot your Insta again, so you'll send it through Twitter. Can you do private messages in Twitter? I have no idea. I very rarely use Twitter. Uh, yeah. Okay, see, guys, I have no idea. I don't know. That's cool. You've done it before to me? Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, my gosh, Justin, I forgot about BitClout. I forgot. I literally forgot until I just read that. I haven't logged on in forever. I'm a terrible client i don't use insta i made you make an account before okay well i didn't make you i just that's the only way i have it set up to see everybody that's painting along that's all it's just crazy to me that there's not crazy but like instagram is such like a part of a huge part of my career which means my life 
So it always blows my mind when people say they don't have Instagram. What she means if you don't have Instagram, you're dead. That's not what I mean. I just... <laughs> it's very surprising to me. That's all. That's all. <laughs> you're not dead to me. It's fine. And the last thing that you guys might need some, not help on, but to look at closely. Oh, we didn't even do glitter or nothing. Look at me just being the worst teacher ever. When it comes to the horn, it is completely up to you how you want to outline that baby. You can bubble around all these little bubbles you made, right? If you want. You can also just outline it just straight. If you want as well. Oh my gosh, I didn't even think about that, Kenzie. Now you don't even have to be over here to avenge him with us. We can avenge him at any time. Okay. How do we feel about the unicorn at the moment, everybody? How is them apples? You know what? Let's just make it a little more Tate-esque while we're at it. I'm going to go right into my pink with a bunch of water to make our good old chocolate milky consistency that we had before. And we're gonna put some splatter. Okay. I'm just gonna hold, I, I dipped my brush in that chocolate milky consistency. Maybe it's a little bit more watery than chocolate milk. And I'm just gonna flick my canvas with my pink filled paintbrush. If you don't want to get it on your unicorn, you can cover up with a paper or be prepared with a paper towel on the side here. And you can dab dab them away if they get on your little uni herself. And remember if you're like holding your paint, like if you're painting your painting flat, you can also make nice big drips by using the same pile of chocolate milky consistency water that you're using before and just kind of letting it drip off your paintbrush but i the only reason i don't do this on paint nights often is because i you need to let it dry flat like this and then you guys can't see it so i'm just gonna blow on it for a second Suck up some of the excess. So the king that Justin's talking about, I know we always just get into inside jokes and you guys are like, what? <laughs> We're just jerks over here. Justin, Kenzie, and I play a game called... Why can't I remember what it's called? For the king! It's called For the King. Wow, that was weird. For thy king. And it's basically just like Dungeons and Dragons, but like video game mode. Our king's rolling in his grave. <laughs> I know, what a terrible, terrible whatchamacallit. It's like Catan and Dungeons and Dragons mixed together. And it is fun. And when Justin first showed me it, I was like, this is the lamest game I've ever played. But I'll do it. And then like nine hours later, I was like, Roll seven! <laughs> I know. I was disrespectful. I really was. I didn't give it a chance. I didn't. Um, uh, when we're talking about glitter, 
yeah now we get so into it like we will literally like we have to schedule to play it when we know that we like don't have to do anything that day because we'll play for like 10 hours <laughs> i'm just getting some glitter to show you ways that you can use glitter on paintings so for example i'm gonna get some pink paint here and I'm just going to paint a couple streaks in the horse's hair. Sorry, there's a TikTok that always, whenever I say horse, I always just think, um, what you would call it? Whose horse is that? <laughs> I don't know. If, does that sound like anything for anyone? I don't know. Uh, <laughs> so with wet paint, I'm going in, I'm just painting like a couple streaks of pink. Okay, and then I'm going to grab my glitter. All this conversation warms my soul. RPG is live. See, or not live, live. Um, good on converting her, Justin. We need as many recruits as possible. <laughs> and then Justin was just shaming me for saying who's on TikTok, saying he's not a 12-year-old, and that's rude. Because there's many people not 12 years old on TikTok, me included. Big Pot's in rehab from TikTok at the moment. I understand that though it is quite addicting and time consuming for show. Okay, and I'm just putting glitter in those wet paint spots and then when you can leave them to dry flat for a long time but I don't have that luxury right now and you tap it off and then look at those little can you guys see those streaks of glitter or can you not even tell they're beautiful in real life I swear beautiful How's your unicorn looking, cat attack? Did I like leave us astray on some details? What are we thinking? What are we looking? Now I have pink glitter literally everywhere. You can put a little dab dab of pure white in that eyeball for one little highlight. That's always nice. Boop. If you want. Realistically, if like the issue before is if your horse's eye looked a little bit too, if the red line underneath it made it look a little bit too, not what we wanted it to look like, if you know what I'm saying. You can also put a white ring underneath it. I think he looks a little bit less that. Is it glittery everywhere? No, there's literally only glitter in these little streaks of hair. There's glitter all down here now, but... Oh. <laughs> he meant G literally. Like, literally. <laughs> that was a good one, Justin. It went right over my head. But it was a good one once I got it. It's glitterly everywhere. Earning my big bucks. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, what else do we got here? Let's just, I'm just playing around. Like, look, done before 10? Who is she? So I do private, I, I host or offer private paint nights as well for people. And, uh, I have one and they're try they want to do it in an just an hour. So we're going to see how that goes. Whoop. I'm just playing around with this. Let's just bring another. Whoa. That's a crazy hair. That's too crazy. That's too crazy. Dang, I'm your promoter. You got to tell me these things. <laughs> yeah, if you I do offer Private Zoom paint nights or paint days. So this one's a paint day. It's a midday activity, which is kind of fun for them at work. Um, 
I don't know why I won't. I can't stop down there. Let's just add one more pink swoop and then I'll be finished. Sounds like a starfish bait and I hate. Yeah, I probably should. <laughs> Is it a stick man? Basically. It's going to be a desert scene with some cactuses. And I think we'll be able to do it. It ain't going to be Baby Yoda's. Nah. -uh. <laughs> you know how we feel about Baby Yoda painting. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Let's get some drips in there. This paint is literally everywhere. <laughs> okay, um, you, I since since I'm back to not hearing voices again, like we said before, I guess we're ready to go. Are we? Question mark. I do have to. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. I do have to reset up my um, Instagram thing on here because I turned it off when I was lagging earlier. Let's see here. Do, 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 do. What's my thumbnail going to be today? Let me see here. I don't know. It was started fine. Halfway through it went laggy again. For some reason. Let me see if. I'm nervous that this is not going to be on the right screen. Oh, it's not even there. Let's do... What? Ah, there we go. Yeah, the computer is just being dumb again. Okay, we're starting with Kenzie's, you guys. <laughs> Why am I on the side so far? <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm spilling water. Okay, you sent the drawing on Twitter. Okay, so I can't log on to my Twitter on my computer, so I'll show it on my phone, but let's start with... Uh... Oh. <laughs> Oh no! Why is my computer just like flailing? There's the first one. Just brony the stream. That's literally the only one I have right now, you guys. That's the only one. Felt cute. Might delete later. She says. Let's see if. I won't load. Okay, that's okay. We got... You're saying you're slow, but that's fine. Look! Olivia! Mm, mm, mm. You have time. Don't worry. I'm the one that just painted fast like a crazy. Okay, super cute. Justin sends it in the form of a prop. I like the colors. My, the, I like this little curly. Can you guys see my mouse? Of what little hair I like on here. And here I thought cat attack. What am I saying? What am I saying here? Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. I got people mixed up. Who's who? But. Uh, you joined way too late. Like don't. Okay. Okay. That's why I was confused. I was like, isn't cat attack? The birthday girl. <laughs> I was so confused. Okay, well, it's okay. I'm not getting a picture of yours. Don't worry. We won't. 
No worries. I hope you post it on Instagram later. Okay, right. I'm looking at the I'm looking at the one on Twitter. Where is my tweeter? How do I what do I? Oh my gosh. Love. See, you didn't have white, but you made it work with the ominous uni. Oh my gosh. Love. And then the other drawings. That like gives me gorilla vibes. You know the gorillas? Love. 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 Twitter is so random to me. Okay, Nico, not random, so unknown to me. Nico, Nico, Nico. Oh, oh, what happened? Where did it go? Okay, Stana. Oh, why are you like this? <laughs> not you. Oh, no, and I just saw your message about a raid. I missed it. I just saw it now. Why is this? Let me, let me just do that. There we go. Okay, beautiful. So pretty. Like the colors. Hey. Beautiful. Cat attack, don't stress. I The vi YouTube video will be up in like two hours. It usually takes like an hour or two. And don't you worry. You can follow along to finish off your little guy. Love the blue. Nice, Nico. Killing it as always. Great job. Great job. Oh, I don't know. My eyes are so sore today. This was a wild one, but I think she was fun, right? We have to thank Octavia. Oh, I didn't even, okay, I wrote Octavia Tattoo, but I see on the picture here, it's Octavia Vaughn. Her last name is in there. Beautiful artwork. Thanks for letting us use, well, <laughs> I can't say letting us use it because I didn't ask permission. But everybody, check out their work. It's beautiful. I found it on Etsy. This is a sticker. This is a sticker. Buy it. Buy it, everybody. We're criminals. I'm so sorry. Um, thank you, Lisa. Good night. Good night. Um, they just got some free promotion, though, Liz. Hey, see, that's like... I take it because it's not like I, I always give credit where it's due. I never will try to take somebody's work and pretend like it's my own. But I'd like to think that they wouldn't be upset because, yeah, it's like it's free promotion. It's not like we're saying anything bad. Maybe they'll be mad that I'm like teaching them how to draw their stuff. But it's not the same. I don't know. Don't be mad, artists. I swear. Oh, hello, straight claps. Um, welcome back. We finished the unicorn. Um, that could be me. I probably should ask. That's why I try to do my paintings as much as we can, or just like random photos on the internet as much as we can. Um, and it's all because I don't have time to like pre like make a painting for you guys. Um, in a week, that's all. But I can't. Why am I yawning so much? Why am I sleepy, you guys? I gotta get my life together. Do you guys want to see a commission I finished yesterday? Eh, eh, eh. Just kidding. It was actually this morning. Look at those little cuties sitting. Oh, the color is very weird on the screen. It's not that. Um, it's actually way more saturated than it looks on the screen. But, kind of cute, hey? Oh, guys. I'm very happy with it. it. Took me a long time. But there's glitter in here, too. I don't know. Can you guys see the glitter on the side? No, the camera doesn't show it. Anyway, that just finished up today. Okay. Whew. Thank you, guys. 
Um, let's see here. Oh, not Zoom. That's not right. That's not right. What am I doing? Where am I? It's thumbnail mode time. Thanks for sharing. Awesome hang, Dresden. See you. Good. Yeah, you haven't been able to hang out with us for a while. It's nice to have you in the peanut gallery as always. Thanks for the props, sweet soul. Kind of soul. Let me see here while we figure out what time, what, what we're doing for a thumbnail here. Usually Justin sneaks in just in time to um, direct me into what we've got to do here. Again, I think this is going to be heavy photoshopped, right? Like, it's just going to make sense that I prop a unicorn, what you call it, on my head, right? Do I kiss him? Do I... What? What do I do? <laughs> it's just silence. You guys know I don't do well in silence. I will just... Make my hair flowy like that. Perfect. It's great. It's wonderful. You're amazing. <laughs> no, no, anyone? No? Okay, cool. We'll just. You can kiss me. Why do my hands look so small? We'll just. Um... That's all we got. We got nothing exciting and creative today. I'm going to make a unicorn like, pop out of my forehead, probably. Or make my hair just luscious in the wind like this unicorns. One of the two. I haven't decided yet. <laughs> as long as this is in the right spot. Good. Done. Like dinner. Okay, family, you know what's coming next week. We are doing, my calendar's not up there. Oops. We are doing a space theme. No pencils, throwing paint around. That's it. Okay. Um, bring a toothbrush, bring glitter, be prepared to get messy. That's the plan for next week's paint night. Okay. Other than that, uh, go yawn away from you guys so I stop making you yawn. Um, we will. I'll see you on Instagram, right? Is that that's usually how we do this? <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, everybody. I'll catch you on the flip side. Stay safe. Do great things. I just stole Dresden's line, and we'll talk soon. Okay. See you. It's not done yet. Stop.